What is up everybody? My name is Pilarius and welcome to a brand new episode of Moe Ninja Girls. Let's get our free gotcha box of the day. Because really, who can pass up free? And we definitely need good old power recover. There it is. And as always, without further ado, let's get into the story, because we are on a new chapter, Season 5, Chapter 10, Abnormal Crisis. Ooh, sad music. Tenga his hand. It's just me and Enju, left in the school forest. I don't want to believe what I just saw. I don't want to believe... Tenge just turned her weapon on us. I... You okay, Enju? Of course she's not okay. Enju cared more about Tenge than anyone else. Anything I say to her now would come off as shallow. Enju, let's get back. We need to report this to the principal. I'm... Yes? I'm going to ask... I'm going to look for Tenge. Right now? Yes, right now. What's gotten into her? Wait, can you at least do this tomorrow? And preferably not alone? No, I have to go after her now. Tenge has the power of teleportation. Enju does make a good point. But Enju's so agitated, she's lost her judgment. <laughs> Where'd that come from? It's dangerous to fall after Tenge alone. There's no telling what she'd find. But how do I stop her? Okay. In that case, I'm going with you. Wait, what? <laughs> You're more likely to turn up something if we work in a pair, right? Plus, if Tenge has sided with the enemy, the former owner, then we could be in for another battle. Who knows what would happen if Tenge and Enju fought? That's one hypothetical I don't care to share with Enju. Well, I've also got some choice words for Tenge saying. You. Yeah? You're sweet. Huh? <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess I was a bit upset. <laughs> the fluster from earlier is gone now. She seems a little calmer. I feel better now. Thank you. I didn't do a thing. <laughs> so what's the plan? Do we keep going after Tenga? No. You report this to the principal. And you? I go after Tenga. I just said, I'll be fine on my own. In fact, I think it's a better way to talk with her. Now it's hard to start season 5, chapter 10, part 2 of 8. <laughs> what the hell is going on? This is so awkward. I've known her longer than anyone, and I probably understand her better than anyone. If Tenge really has turned against us, don't worry. I can handle myself. And you? With her telling me this, there's only one response I can give. Alright, just remember. What? Come back safe. Dot dot dot. <laughs> Silly boy, won't you be embarrassed about saying cheesy lines like that when you're calmer? Shut up. I'm already embarrassed enough as it is. I know, right? <laughs> I won't do anything stupid. If I think it's dangerous to go on, I'll come back, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Inji waves lightly to me. Then she dashes off into the woods without giving me time to respond. Dot dot dot. The sight of her telling me goodbye with the backdrop of twilight is etched into my mind. Did the tone of the goodbye hint that she might vanish into the twilight shadows, never to be seen again? Nah, I better not even consider that. Well, better put this to the principal. <laughs> I delivered my report about the former owner and about Tenge. I see... Miss Yomoda. Hmm. <clears throat> yes, she's very clearly launched an attack against us, which caused us to let the former owner escape. She is a ninja dispatched by Obnubi itself. It could be that the former owner has an agent in Obnubi's ranks. Is there anything else you have to report? No, nothing worthy of mention. Alright, I'll do some looking into her from my end. 
Thank you, Mr. Kuzuru. Phew! I wrap up my report, step out into the hall, and look toward the woods. I don't see Inju, and I don't sense any sort of battle taking place in the woods. I'm still a little concerned, but I'll go home. If I had chosen to follow Inju now, would anything have been different? I don't know. And I go into the next day still not knowing. Even when it comes time for homeroom to start, and even when first period rolls around, Enju doesn't show up. I hope she's just skipping class, <laughs> but... Oi, you there, lad. What do you want, hag? <laughs> Enju and Tenge never showed up for a patrol last night. Have you heard anything from them? You didn't hear? Hear what? They killed each other. I told the principal that Enji went after Tenge. Apparently, the head of student council hasn't gotten the memo yet. Now it's time to start Season 5, Chapter 10, Part 3 of 8. As I consider the implications of that, Akari, Yabuki, John, and Mayu, Miyu all come up to me. Hey, Johnny! We can't reach her. What's wrong? I keep calling Enju, but all I get is a message saying either she's out of the service area or her phone's not on. Enju Senpai and Tengi Senpai did not come home to training yesterday. Yeah, something's up. Apparently, nobody sees either of them since last night. I thought they were both serious types, but I misjudged them if they're skipping class like hoodlums. I don't think you get to criticize anyone else with how much you play hooky. Since last night, though, I'm getting a very bad premonition. I've actually got Rika out looking for them, too. Excuse me? These are not your club members to send around on errands. Back. Ah, perfect timing. <laughs> and you, Rika, don't come through the window. Use the door like a regular person. <laughs> what? Talk about that later. Have a report. Rika hops down from the window and lands in the hallway. Check their dorm rooms. Neither of them was in. No bags left. Never came home last night. It is possible. End of report. They never came home? Including Enju? Hmm. Rika nods in affirmative. Dot dot dot. Tenge not returning is unsurprising. In fact, this serves to confirm that she's turned against us. But I don't have the heart to tell the rest of the Ninja Seeking Club that. What's the matter with both of them? Did something happen last night, P? Oh, God. Akari tugs at my sleeve a little harder than expected. <laughs> hey, wait. Calm down. Maybe they're just running late. But, but they never come home last night. And Tenge-san was attacked just recently. If the same things happen to Enju... Oh, gosh. Akari? Akari is seriously worried about them. Of course, she's not going to be okay with this. Alright, here goes nothing. Hmm? I take Akari's hand. I don't think looking around for them right now will help any. But if it can calm Akari down... Uh, what? Miu, Rika, check other places. Check the woods or other areas people don't go. Even if you don't find them, just see if you can find any traces of them. Their bags, anything. On it. Okay. Come on, Fu, Senpai. Hmm, guess searching for lost goods is something I can help with. You owe me for this, P. I know. I'll pay you back with interest. Well, check around the school. Go on. Sure. Right. That trust is okay. What the hell? Now it's time to start Season 5, Chapter 10, Part 4 of 8. So, where do we search? Dot, dot, dot. I don't know. I just don't want to sit on my thumbs. After that, I look around the school, leading Akari by the hand. But sure enough, there are no traces of them on school property. Ah, damn it. 
Nothing. Not one single solitary sign of Enju or Tenge. And why would there be? I know better. Dot dot dot. Akari? It's just me and Akari, alone on the roof. Akari's expression is still gloom. Akari cares for the club more than anyone. She's got to be deeply afraid right now. None of the other members are here. If I want to talk to Akari, this is the only time I'll get. Cheer up, Akari. I know you're scared, but you'll bring the rest of the club down if you fret like that. I know that. I do. But still. Tenge-san was acting strange, and now enju has gone missing with her. I just don't know what to do now. Hmm. What if they never... They'll turn up eventually. Calm down, Akari. This is just a coincidence. I'm sure they'll turn up eventually. You think? We've been under attack recently, and Enju and Tenge-san, if they were to... Calm down. You're panicking. What if they both got attacked? We don't know for sure that they're in danger. Don't dwell on negative thoughts. But... But Enju never disappears without a word. Just as I think Akari's hanging her head, she... That choice is okay. What the hell is going on? Now it's time to challenge a checkpoint. That's not good. I'm broke. I don't have 600 jewels. <laughs> oh, crap. What's the regular story? 500 jewels? Or 10,000 ninny? I don't even have 10,000 ninny. I guess we are going to finish this episode with some ninja fighting. See if we can win and get some jewels. Level 26? No, thank you. There we go, level 17. That looks good. Victory! One whole win in a row! And we got our class back up again. Let's get that one. Let's go for it. I'm feeling lucky. Hey, look at that. Not lucky enough. <laughs> class down. <laughs> Alright, let's skip that one. Let's skip that one. Definitely skip that one. Alright, let's go for that one. Hey, that's a win. And a class up. Look at that. <laughs> Ooh, and we leveled up. Nice. Let's see. So let's go for it. I don't think I should have done that. I don't know. Nope. That's a loss and a class back down. <laughs> yeah, right. Let's skip that one. Oh man, we should have done that. We will save that one for next time. And we will end this episode by feeding Foo some cookies. 622, hey, we'll get some 50 jewels. Alright, that'll do it for this episode. I hope that was somewhat enjoyable. Seemed too quick, but that happens when there's cliffhangers. So as always, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys and girls and everyone in the next episode. Peace! No adapting?